everybody and welcome. Welcome to another day of our Roller Prompt. And today it's Friday the 30th of July and the prompts we have are Tag, Green, Acetate, Stamp, Gems and it must be in the style of grunge. I seem to be getting a lot of grunge of late. I don't know if it's trying to tell me something. Um, but grunge I always find a bit of a struggle because it's the complete opposite generally to what I do but anyway however I made a start and I've cut out two tags now then let me tell you what measurements they are they're three and a half by uh, well actually seven and a quarter I don't know how they ended up that I just cut them and that's what they are so three and a half by seven and a quarter and what we're going to do with one of them is cut a frame out so let's do that first well actually I've got my inking board out so let's ink this is going to be the back one this is going to go over there with an acetate window um, so I just want to ink this up now I've got three different uh, greens that I could choose I've got the Versifying Claire in Rainforest which is quite a dark green I've got the Distress Ink in Bundled Sage and I've got the Distress uh, Mini in Crushed Olive. Now Crushed Olive, I really like it. I really, really like it. Um, it's my sort of colour family. Bundled Sage, that's another one and that might fit in better with the, the grunge theme. And the other one is the Versafine. Well, it's relatively difficult to blend out just on paper. If I, if I just sort it, I probably could get it to blend out, but I don't think I can just on the, the paper that I'm using. So, so I'm left with either bundled sage or crushed olive. I don't know which to say. Um, that could be grungy. I've also looked at a load of these die cuts that I've already got cut. And you can see that some are in bundled sage and some are more like the crushed olive. And I left them all out because I couldn't decide which I wanted to use. Um, I might just go bundled sage, you know. I think it might be safer in the long run. <laughs> so um, I've got my blending brush. And I'm just going to start blending. Oh well, nothing much is happening there. So yeah, I'm just going to blend. This paper is so absorbent, really, I should have gessoed it. It's a, a silly shortcut to take. And like most shortcuts, doesn't end up saving you much time. In this case, it's going to cost me a load of ink. But anyway, we'll carry on. I'm going to leave some gaps because I'm going to come back with um, either vintage photo or walnut stain and go over it again. So I'm not cared about getting marks from my brush or whatever. It, you know, it'll be what it'll be. And I don't want it really, really even anyway. So I think it looks grungier if it's... <laughs> so sure you doesn't really know what grunge is. But I think it looks grungier if there's marks in it, you know, like these bits here. Mm, this paper does not want to take ink, I can tell you that. Right, I'm going to have to go in and try and get some marks in the middle. Because you won't actually see this edge because it's got the frame over for the acetate. So let's try the... Um, what have I got? I've got walnut stain. Ooh. Let's go with that one, see what happens. Coming in quite gingerly from the edge. Oh yeah, that, that's grunged it up, look. Brilliant. For those of you ladies that can do grunge easily, I'm sorry about this. Um, it just doesn't come easy to me, I'm afraid. I like neat, pretty, 
neither of which are particularly good. I mean, you can be neat and grungy, but usually it's a lot of torn edges and stuff, isn't it? Not my thing, really. So there, I've got quite a lot of that on. I'm just <clears throat> going to come back with a bundled sage and see if I can get any more to lie down now. It's got a cover in on it. I might be able to. No, not really. Well, hmm, you say no, but you might mean yes. I just want to get some green on it because green's the colour of the prompt. So I'm going to get, have to get some green in it somehow. That's quite nice really. It's quite a nice sort of marbled effect. Yeah, okay. Quite happy with that. Right. So we've got that inked. That's a good job. That's that out of the way. Pop that to one side. Then I'm just going to put my inking board down and get my cutting board out because what we want to do is, as I say, make a frame around here. Now, I think I want the frame to be um, about half an inch. That's five eighths there, is that too much? Uh, that's half. Yeah, I'm gonna go for five eighths because a half looks just a bit scant, to be honest with you. And I'm just gonna take my pencil and draw around there and just keep going around the whole thing at five eighths. It's so dark here today, honestly. You wouldn't have believed that it's just a short time ago that we were all sweltered. It's, you know, it's kind of midsummer, and I'll tell you, there is nothing midsummery about it. It's just dull, raining, cold, miserable. Hmm. However, we can't change it. Well, apparently we can. It's due to climate change. So yeah, I guess in a sense we could change it. So five eighths all the way around. And that gives us now, once we cut that out, we've got the perfect frame. So I'm using a craft knife. You can make a hole in the center and use your scissors. Um, how, whatever's comfortable to you. I'm just gonna get my ruler out. And can I say, if you're not used to using craft knives, a ruler like this is great because you keep your fingers in the middle. So even if your craft knife slips a little, let's hope it never does, uh, your fingers should be in the middle of there and should be protected a little bit. So just follow that line around that we've just drawn. I was trying to get away with being quick. Never works. Oops. Might have made that cut a bit far, but it doesn't matter. It's going to get stuck on the other one. So it'll be okay. I don't, I don't know why this doesn't want to stay down. Stay down. No, I'm going to have to get my quilting ruler out. a bit of trouble seeing today actually because obviously I've had to put the artificial light on commonly known as an electric light <laughs> artificial light <coughs> and uh, it's glaring off things so I'm having a bit of trouble seeing what I'm doing bring out the artificial light Oh my goodness, I'm cutting, over cutting everywhere today, but never mind. Last one. Right, let's see. Oh, it's dropped out, so we're all right. 
So put the blade in on your craft knife. So there we have it, we have a frame. Let's just check that that does actually fit on there. I've turned it over so as all the pencil lines are on the back. Yeah, that's fine, that's fine. Skinny tag for another day. Right, what's that? Oh, yeah. So this needs inking up then. I guess that's the story of the day. Let's ink it up. And I'm not going to do anything fancy. I'm going to do just similar to what I did on the background. I'm going to start with the green. And I'm holding it so I can get a nice edge down here. The bit where your ink first comes in deposits that load of ink right on that edge. So it's not so fancy. And tomorrow, of course, is a live day. Tomorrow's Saturday. So I always do a live on my um, channel on a Saturday at four o'clock in the afternoon for those of you that want to pop over and have a look. It's a very friendly affair. It's uh, the live chat's usually great on the lives as people get to <laughs> see each other again after another week. Uh, it's, it's really all very friendly very innocent and very friendly and free I mean what more can you ask for right so I've gone all the way around in the green now I'm going to swap out and come round in the uh, this one the walnut stain and see if my plan works <laughs> it might not <laughs> so I'm going to try and come in from the inside out well, you know what? Might be working. Wow, who'd have thought of this? Well, me obviously, but I don't know how I thought of this, more, more to the point. Mr. F is off cooking our dinner. Pork chops today. Ooh, lovely. And there we are, we're all the way around. Well, I think that looks quite nice. It's definitely green. It's definitely grungy. Oh yes, it's grungy. Right, so let's just, well, let's get rid of the inking board because it's dirty. So that's going to go onto there, hopefully fit nicely. And what I want to do, because one of the things is stamp. Now I have got this covered, I think, further down the line, but just in case I haven't, um, tag green stamp grunge. Yeah, okay, I'm doing all right, but I'm going to use this titchy little butterfly stamp that I've got. I mean, it's tiny. But it's, it's great for the job. And I'm going to use my VersaFine Clay and the dark green that really is dark green. Um, but it, stick my finger in it, it's not altogether helpful. Uh, and I'm just going to put these, these are going to be in the background. Like that. So there's nothing fancy going on here. One down there. So I just want them inside the frame so you can see them. Um, I'll leave it at that for the time being until I get a bit more. All. Oh no, I want them all on the background. Shall I put another on? Three often looks better, doesn't it, than two. So yeah, I'll put three on. 
and pop it over to this side. Oh, I've got another one there. Like that. That's how it's going. That's how it's landed. That's what's happening. Lovely. Right. So, they are green as well. If you can hear a noise in the background, Mr F with pork chops. So I've got this piece of acetate that I've cut out just slightly larger than the frame. Right, okay. So I want to stick that onto the back of the frame. <laughs> and pop that to one side. I don't know if I've got enough room to double tape, double side that. I might just have. Might just. This is disgustingly monkey. Let's try the Julie trick. I think it's been kicking around too long. I sort of thought of this last night and did a, a bit of a mock up, but now we've done a bit of a mock up. I did a mock up. Then I did a muck up. Oh dear. This has got kind of like a coating on and I'm wondering if it would just glue. I think it might. It's made for inkjet printers. So it's got a bit of a coating on to um, grab the, the ink. So I'm thinking it might just stick actually. I'm going to give it a go. So I'm not putting much glue on at all here, partly because my glue nozzles, <laughs> if I'm totally honest with you, my glue nozzle is, oh, it's giving up the ghost. Let's get the pin at work. Oh, come on. Yeah, that's part of the reason why I wasn't putting very much glue on, because my nozzle was blocked up. But you don't want much either because you don't want it squelching out. Um, you know where you can see it through the acetate? No, you don't want that at all. So just a little, little bit. I have actually given in and ordered myself some art glitter glue. Um, so I'm sick of struggling with my glues, basically. I have tried everything. Every way around it you can possibly think. I've bought ordinary PVA. I've, I've tried everything and I've, I've conceded. I'm, I'm giving in. I'm gonna gonna use the um, give the art glitter glue a, a go. You know, if it makes things go easier and you're absolutely certain that they've stuck, then it's worth it, I would say. Right, so there we are. We've got our acetate on the back there. Which side's that mark on? I don't know. Let's give this just one final. Ah, it was on this side. A bit of a clean. Yeah, the Julie I'm referring to is Julie at Camellia Crafts Designs. If you haven't watched her, go over to her channel. Give her a watch, you'll love her. Um, so that's going to go there, like that. And you can see the butterflies shining out. I'm hoping that's on this side. Yes, it is. Right, so I can stick that down in its entirety. It's done. Um, I can definitely use this for this. So if you can hear that noise in the background, that's my pork chop sizzling. <laughs> we have our main meal at lunchtime these days. We didn't, didn't always used to, but we do now. Um, find it just freezes up for the afternoon and we can do what we want to do. And you come back home and you're not having to get a meal straight away which we like. Right, so that's that. That's stuck down. Lovely. 
Right, now what I'm going to do, I mean, that, yeah, that looks grungy, doesn't it? Oh, yeah, I've just looked at it on the camera. It looks even more grungy on the camera. <laughs> right, so now I'm going to bring in all of these die cuts. Um, some now won't go because we've used the bundled sage and some will go because we've used the bundled sage. So let's just have a look, see what we've got. I thought I might introduce blue, as you can see, um, just as a point of difference, really. So I've got the these ones. These are lovely. These were done in bundled sage, so I know that they will match. That's very pretty. I've got this one as well. That's nice the way it comes up to that butterfly. I quite like that. Um, but I think I need something in the background. Um, I've got that. This was done in sort of cream and I've I've grunged it. I've grunged it up. So I could definitely have that one up there. Probably needs to come in a little bit. I can always chop that bit off, but this bit I do want in. So there we go. Yeah, that, that looks quite nice to me, I think. Um, and then I'm going to introduce this, this one which I'd also like to curl out, which I can because the, the paper in between the sort of flowery bits is so thin you can curl it. And that would match with that, but not be identical. So what leaves do I have? Oh, I haven't got that many that are not that very bright green. Uh, that's that one. I'll put all the ones that are potentially any good over there. Um, you know, there's an awful lot of bright green and not many dark greens. Well, muted green. Probably enough. That's probably enough. Lovely blue, but blue butterfly there. Yeah, I think that's. I think that's pretty much all I've got really. Um, could I put that one there? could but I don't think it looks right so I won't. Off you come. Um, I've got this one that's got two blue flowers on it. That looks quite nice. I don't know how grungy this is but I don't think it has to be. I think the overall thing is grungy. I don't think I do need to do massive amounts to it. Let's take them out. I've still got some bits in from cutting. I'll take them out. So will that go there? Yeah, I guess. Um, I'm going off the idea of blue. Going right off it, actually. I think I'm just going to stick to these greens. Let's just see what we can build. Mm -mm, no. Let's try this little one then. Yeah, I'm going off the idea of all of those, to be honest. I'm coming back to the idea of, of just this. I really like it. And I really like that cream one behind it. Do I actually need any more than that at all? I want to bring that down a little bit down there. I, you know, I don't. I don't think I do. I think that looks suitably grungy. I'm going to leave it there. I'll cut all these things out for nothing. Absolutely no reason. Right, let's get these stuck on then. So we want the distressed, creamy, beigey one on first. Ooh. and I really don't want to get any glue on that acetate so I'm going to go very carefully with it but kind of as quickly as I can so you don't get overly bored 
because I appreciate it's not the funnest thing in the world, is it? Right, that should do that. So I just want it up a little bit and then sweeping around like that. That is perfect positioning, I think. So let's get the Timmy towel out. Move that off a minute. Let's give that a press down. So the Timmy towel has the effect of sort of pressing over a wider area and it also absorbs up any glue that you might just have missed. Yeah, I quite like that actually. Right, so I presume I was going to put the single one here. Like that, yeah, okay. Good job. So this afternoon I'm going out, I'm going lace shopping and ribbon shopping to a gorgeous little shop we have. It's not that far away, I don't know how far away it would be, 30 miles, something like that. Um, which when you live up here that's quite close. So that's the trip out today. And we could have chosen a better day actually, it's pretty damn miserable. but. We didn't, we chose today. Right, okay, so I've got that there and I'm gonna put this on the other side. Let me just see, I don't want it that high. Yeah, I want it to there. So I'm gonna chop it off there so I don't glue it. Let's pop some glue on the back of here. be good at that. Lovely. Okay. So I don't I don't think that needs any more done. I think that's I think that's kind of job done. I quite like that. So let's put the thing back on my glue. Um, now then, the other thing, oh, two things. Oh no, I've used the stamp. Tag, it's green. It's got acetate. It's got stamps, gems. Right, so how I thought I could incorporate the gems, because this is not a very gemmy piece at all. I've stamped out a stamp from the field notes and I've stamped it out on green and I've stamped it out on more of this paper, but distressed it a bit more. So I could see which I thought went best. Now, I'm tempted to put this at the bottom. I quite like that green, actually. I could sort of put it over there. Hmm, which do I like? I quite like that one. But that one looks quite nice as well, doesn't it? Yeah, I think this one gives it a bit of a highlight, doesn't it? I'm going to use double-sided to stick this on. Uh, I know it's a bit of a faff, but the Fabri-Tac or whatever you use will come through. Well, you could spread it out, of course you could. But I'm going to use this anyway. Where's my bone folder? Oh, brilliant. I've lost my bone folder. Marvellous. So, oh, I think I've just chopped off all the frayed bit as well, but yeah, I have. It's stuck on the double-sided. I don't know where my bone folder's gone. It's a mystery, isn't it? It's a mystery. I wonder if the back of my scalpel would work. No. Ah. 
Thanks, Mr. F. He's found my bone folder. Oh, this one won't tear anyway. Yeah, I'd have been better putting Fabri-Tac on this. <laughs> it's just turned into a great big debacle. <laughs> Something had to somewhere along the way, didn't it, really? Right, so let's burnish that down and I hope we're left with something that looks quite nice. And not too ragtag. And there we go. And let's pop that on there. Oh, I don't think I was going to put it right in the corner, but never mind, it's right in the corner now. And it's stuck on with double sided, so it's going nowhere. Um, so the, the gem situation, I'm loath to put gems on this because it's obviously not a project for gems, but gems is, is in the prompt, so gems I've got to use. So let's have a look and see what we've got in this little box here. Um, I really kind of want small ones. So let's have a look and see what we've got in here, if we've got any green or brown or that sort of thing. Right, well that's, oh, where's my, where's my thingy? That's quite an, oh, there's a nice green there. Let's furcle that out. Any other greens? That's a green, but it's, oh no, it's not. That's a green, but it's a different green. So, oh, and I think that might be the same. That might be the same green. I think it is. Excellent. Right, so I've got two greens. Marvellous. Right, so I'm going to have to put these on with E6000. Um, I could use hot fix glue crystals, but I haven't got my hot fix tool out, so <laughs> E6000 it is. So I'm just going to put a little dot fairly sort of centrally, get the lid back on this. Let's pick these little ones up. They're kind of, I don't know if they're the right shade, but they're going on anyway. So there we have it, our two gems. Okay. What I'm going to do now is just ink around the edge. I think it's just looking a little bit pale right around the edge. So I'm going to use the walnut stain and my dauber just to get it right on the edge there. Yeah, that's better. Just define it a little bit. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so now we all we need is, uh, I'll put those away after, because that's the kind of labour I love, putting them away. We need a tie on the top. Tags have ties on the top, generally. And what I thought I would use is this. I've never used it before. It's Paper Mania Bare Basics, and their stuff's usually quite nice. Um, and I thought I would just literally put a, just a tag on. No, I could put it that way, couldn't I? Like that. Just... Oh, look, I've got blooming gems everywhere. Um, just staple it on with a little tiny attacher Nancy gave me. I think that would look nice. Yeah, so let me get my tiny, oop, tiny attacher out. And to cut the length of this off, how much do I want? Oh, about there. It will fray. It will fray of its own volition, but you can help it along like that. Um, a bit of black fluff. Do not need you. So I wanted it sort of like that sort of angle. Let's see if I can use my tiny attacher. There we go. Come on. 
Right, so there we are. I think that is a tag that meets all the criteria. Let's just have a check and see. So, tag. Yes, it is a tag today. Green, without a doubt. Acetate, yep. Stamp, yes, 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 yes. Gems, yes and yes. Grunge, yeah. I mean, that's just a grunge tag, isn't it? So let me hold it up so you can have a look. And there we have it. Okay. Now, the next thing is, I'm going to have to put these away. They're going to end up getting everywhere. The next thing is that we've run out of columns in our um, big red book. And I did say that I wanted to change some out. And to be honest, grunge is one that I do want to change out. I've had, I've had enough grunge, thanks a bunch. It's just kind of not my thing. I've tried. Um, not totally successfully, I wouldn't say. But I've given it my best shot. Right, that's then put away. So let's just shuffle those to the side. There we go. That can go in the box for the uh, racks. Actually, that came out better than I thought it was going to do. I quite like it. And get the big red book out. And let's see what we're going to change and what we're going to change it to, etc, etc. Some of you have been coming up with some great ideas for me. Um, so thank you to those of you that have... Uh, commented below with ideas right so let's just go over the page like this makes it easier for me so we've got oh, it doesn't fit on there. I keep trying to fit it on so we've got the type we've got the oh I need to draw some blinking lines on this Uh, I've got six of each, haven't I? So one, two, three, four, five, six. So that needs a line along there. Then another six. One, two, three, four, five, six. A line along here. I can't even get the ruler straight. One, two, three, four, five, six to there. I mean, this would be so much simpler if I cleared my desk off. I'm just going to carry on marking these up. Clean my desk off a little bit and I'll see you back here in a minute. Right, I'm back and I've sorted out my big red book and it's now... Uh, this is the 2nd of August, which will be Monday, because as I say, I do a live Saturday and Sunday and I've got something else that I want to do on the live. So starting on Monday, the 2nd of August, and I've got up to Friday, the 6th of August, and then we'll take stock again if we want to carry on or whatever. Uh, or if, um, you know, if I haven't got enough time to do my other obligations, then um I don't know, maybe we'll leave it for what we'll see. We'll see when we get to the 6th of August what happens. But the most important thing is that I have to roll my... Oh, maybe I should go through it, through it with you because some have changed a little bit. So for the type, we've got tag, journaling card, envelope, which we've always had, pockets, we've always had all of those four. But then we've got altered paper clip. So that's a new, different one and a tummy tuck which is also different so we've scrapped a couple of things that were on there and i can't quite remember what they were notebook and something else and we've um, inserted altered paper clip and tummy tuck instead so that's that one then for the color we've got blue which is a new yellow new green i just can't leave green alone sorry uh gray now that's a different one that lends itself to opportunities brown and pink so those are our six colours. 
the papers, napkins. Now that's a new one. We didn't have napkins before. So they're a new kid on the block. Digi, 12x12s, cardstock, book page. That's a new one. And music paper. So we've got napkins, book page and music paper, which we didn't have before. And we've left out things like vellum and acetate and whatever, because I've had my fill of those for the time being. <gasps> Focal point, embossing. Now, don't forget, there's two ways of embossing. You can use embossing powder, heat it up and whatever, or you can emboss on your die cut machine, both of which are very nice. Stamp, yeah, that's just too handy to leave that out, really. Sticker, same as uh, a die cut. I think that's a good inclusion. Fussy cut, yeah, I like fussy cuts. And a photo, now that's something different, but also quite interesting. So going down the decoration, we've got charms, buttons, lace, which we had before, brads, that's a new inclusion. Yeah, I like that. Fabric, fabric's good because you can stamp on it. You can uh, use it for spines and it, I, like fa I like fabric. Uh, and gilding wax. Now that's a new one. That might make her scratch her heads a little bit. Style, shabby chic, floral, nature. Now I'm taking these two, floral to be flowers and plants, and nature to be um, like the animals, the squirrels and the whatever, deer, you know, that sort of thing. So that's what I'm classing as nature. You can read it any way you want. Um, number four is Edith because we didn't have Edith in before and she has to be present. Uh, five is collage, so that's something different. And six, I think it's the most interesting of all, it's character. Now by character, I mean um, Peter Rabbit, for example, or, you know, the scarecrow that's got a story written about him, I can't remember his name. Uh, any Anything that is a character, um, Jemima Puddle Duck, the Flower Fairies, um, anything that's got a character. Carrick. I can't even say the word now. Character. Yes, that's it. Excellent. So we know where we're going. I'll ask Mr. F later on if you'll put this up uh, on our Facebook group for you. Um, but it won't be right away because we're going out. I'm going lace shopping, if you remember. So it'll be in a little while, but it will be there in ample time for the 2nd of August, I can tell you that. So let's roll the dice. Let's see what we get. Six, a tummy tuck. We haven't had one of those. Brilliant. Is there room on the back of there? No. I'll write these down later then. And the colour... Straight away, one we didn't have. Colour, three. Green, well, that's all right by me. And the paper. Doo -doo -doo. Five. Uh, oh, book page. Oh, we're getting some new ones straight out the traps. Focal point. Four. Die cut. Oh, this is all going rather well. Something's going to go hideously wrong in a minute. Decoration. God, something nice. I quite like them all, actually. So, Four. Brads. Honestly, they're all new ones. This is exciting. Well, it is to me. Look, I'm excited about it. All right. I don't get out much. And style. One. Shabby chic. Now, that is not a bad lot of stuff to draw, I can tell you. Is it really? Let me put my dice away. I live in fear of losing it. Then we'd have to stop the game because I've lost my dice. So we've got a tummy tuck in green using book page. I mean, come on. A die cut, some brads and shabby chic. That's, that's pretty near perfect. Well done, dice. You did good. I should just bring to your attention these rules that are the kind of new rules although we have been using them, you can't use anything more than three times. Once it's been used three times on this page here, it's dead to us. 
it's gone. Uh, and nothing twice in a row, which makes sense. Otherwise, you tend to get grunge and grunge. I mean, I know we won't have grunge anymore because it's not on there, but you, you get stuck in a rut. I mean, I think I had, what do I have, notebooks three times running or something like that. Um, so nothing more than three times on this one page uh, and nothing twice in a row. So, you know, next time for old tummy tuck again, it would be invalid because that would be its second time in a row. So there we go. That's I'm happy with that. That's brilliant. And I shall see you all tomorrow, hopefully. Four o'clock UK time. Every Saturday and Sunday we do a live on uh, this channel, the YouTube channel. And everybody has great fun and talks and chats away to each other and pays scant regard to what I'm doing, <laughs> which is fine. That's good. So I'll see you then. Behave yourselves. Bye.